Okay, whenever you're ready. Welcome back to another episode of Inside Pacer Athletics. I'm Travis Bruin, joined alongside my Sports Information Director, Brian Hand. Brian, a lot's been going on in the last three weeks for Pacer Athletics. Can you kind of give me a break? I mean, what happened with women's basketball first? Oh, it's a great place to start, and I'm just going to do the best I can to fill in for the other half of Killer B today. Right. But, you know, <laughs> I do what I can. But, uh, you know, it's a great place to start. Talk about the great success they had this year, finishing 27-6, school record 27 victories. We talked about it, they had top victories over the top three teams in the country throughout the year, one, two, three. Not too many teams in the country can do that. Teams team is actually playing a national championship game in Clayton State. USC Aikens is the only team to have beaten them. You know, Mike Brandt got his 400th victory in a year, became the all-time winningest coach in USC Aiken history. The USC Aiken women's basketball team picked up their first NCAA tournament victory during the NCAA Division II Southeast Regional at Clayton State, 69-66 over, I mean, over Tuscan. Unfortunately, bowed out in the semifinals to a tough Lander squad who eventually bowed out to um, Lander. But overall, just a tremendous, tremendous season. Yeah, definitely a lot of good things we saw going on. It was great to sit inside the Convocation mm -hmm. Center and, and oh. see this team uh, really emerge as one of those teams yeah. we, we didn't expect maybe as much from yeah. and it surprised everybody. Yeah, the, you, you might not expect it. We knew what they had, right. but I think everybody out there just kind of thought, you know, well, we'll see what happens. And as they got, they only got better and better. You know, they went from getting that first national ranking after beating um, Francis Marion on December 1st, moving up 25th, and then moving up all the way to where they are right now, 8th. Be interested to see uh, where they finish in the final rankings of the year, but I really think they got a good chance to, you know, be in the top 15 in the final ranking. Yeah, and then, you know, once we saw women's basketball land, it was great to see the spring sports come around this yeah. year. And uh, why don't you give us just kind of a breakdown of how many baseball's been looking so far as they kicked off uh, their season. The baseball team, 16-11, 2-7 in the Peach Belt Conference, kind of gone on a slide as of late, but really turned it on earlier this week against uh, Newberry, trouncing or mauling the Wolves 15 to nothing <laughs> in Newberry, you know, for their first non-conference road victory of the season. The Pacers have a tough, tough uh, thing this weekend when they got they got to play Georgia College number five in the country in Millersville, Georgia, so it should be a good game. But I expect the Pacers to kind of turn things around and be at the thick of things in the Peach Bowl Conference by the end of the year. Yeah, and then as you just mentioned, you know, the Pacers baseball team played the number is about to play the number five team in the nation. Well the softball team just played the number four team in the nation this past Sunday. How about how softball's been starting off, you know, with their spring schedule? Unfortunately they're nineteen eleven now, uh, you know, but unfortunately you know they didn't beat that North Georgia team. Right. Came close in that second game, lose the first one seven one. You and I did the game on the webcast and right. it was a you know, they gave up some runs early, played well the rest of the game, but unfortunately lost seven one. Second game lost two oh but Pitt only gave up two hits in that and that game but still lost uh, two oh. Yesterday it came back and really uh, handed it to um St Andrews so uh you know it's uh, um you know I expect for them to continue to do it. This weekend they got two doubleheaders at J. Satcher Field beginning with Georgia Southwestern on Saturday one and three and then on Sunday we got a tough Columbus State team who has a very 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 good record coming in and those games will be at two and four. Yeah it was kind of it was excellent if you, know, if you were able to watch the game yesterday or come out to it and we saw a no hitter pitch by a you know, freshman India Cornegate that was impressive to oh, see yeah. so uh, it seems to be a lot of good things coming down towards the stretch of this, the end of the stretch of the season. Yeah, Andy Cornegate's been getting a lot of publicity as she should for her great right. uh, her exploits on the um, in the circle lately, and you know that no hitter yesterday was quite a performance. Yeah, and then you know going on, you know, with Pacers being ranked and you know getting you know honored, if you will, you know the golf team is now inside the top twenty. Uh, they moved into seventeenth. They really started the year out well, finishing as high as third in one of their tournaments uh, this past weekend. They finished eleventh, uh, or this past week they finished eleventh. Um, at the Bobcat invitation on going back to Georgia College, but um, you know I expect for them as they go on the next, they're going to play in another great Division Two tournament, the Bear, uh, the Bearcat Invitational. We went from Bobcat to Bearcat yeah. Invitational. <laughs> Not really stepping out. Go to the Bearcat Invitational next week, and then the, that same weekend they'll play in the prestigious Augusta State Invitational, which will have some of the best teams in all of Division One golf and USC go play in some very tough competition. Yeah, I know, and then moving on really to that last spring sport, I know I like to see, uh, you know, assistant sports information director Millage Austin out there trying his <laughs> hand in some tennis, but, you know, how is uh, the, how the tennis teams, men's and women's, uh, faring so far? Well, if we only had Millage's uh, greatness with the racket, then we'd have to be good to this <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Millage, uh, Millage has been out there. We had some, the women's tennis team is currently 7-8, and 7-8 and eight overall, 1-6 and six in the Peach Belt Conference, but has won three of the last four, so it's been, you know, they've had a really great stretch. Uh, the men's team is currently ranked 26 in the country, so they're having a good year. But and, you know they've won four of their last five. Uh, both of them have some tough matches this weekend, beginning against uh, Columbus State on Friday. A very good in men's and women's tennis Columbus State uh, team, and then on Sunday they'll travel to America's Georgia. 
to face off against uh, Georgia Southwestern. Uh, uh, you know, two matches that they should win and could win, and it'll be um, crucial to the end of the year, and then make an NCAA tournament, and even the Peach Bowl tournament. Yeah, and you know, Brian, it seems like a lot of great things are happening. We're, we're, we're approaching that last month to really two months um, yeah. before we get into Peach Belt Conference tournament play. So uh, the Pacers have a lot of good things to look forward to coming up. Um, and really the biggest thing you know, coming up now is for Athletics Office, um, outside of just the events, is the, is the polo event. Yeah, So. Yeah, we definitely got that polo event on April 2nd, Saturday, April 2nd. Uh, I actually take time in just a minute to talk with our athletic director, Randy Warwick, a little bit about it, and we're going to go to that video right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to Inside Pacer Athletics. I'm Brian Hannon and I'm joined right now by Athletic Director Randy Work. How are you doing today, Randy? I'm doing good. Well, it's been a busy time of year. You know, we've had the Peach Belt Conference basketball tournament here. We had our Cleveland Golf Palmetto and Collegiate Golf Tournament and then our women's basketball play, team played in the NCAA Regional. Talk a little bit about all the great things that have been going on lately in the USDA and Athletic Department. Well, Brian, you know, as you said, it's been a busy time mm -hmm. for us. Um, I think we you know, had another very successful uh, Peach Belt uh, basketball tournament that we hosted. Um, the uh, tournament for next year is going to be up for bid again here shortly, and mm -hmm. USCA can will certainly you know, put another bid in to try to host that, um, and we'll see what the other schools think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've done a good job for four years, and it's something that you know, if if given the opportunity, I know that you know we'd like to continue to do, but. You know, that part's going to be out of our hands and mm -hmm. uh, you know be voted on you know probably in the next uh, month or so. Mm -hmm. um, in regards to the Cleveland tournament, mm -hmm. uh, I think our golf team uh, and Coach Carlisle put on a very first class event. Mm -hmm. I was very pleased. It's one of the strongest fields that we've ever had in, in that particular tournament. Mm -hmm. And I thought that you know that our team played well, finished you know very respectably, and. Um, you know, Mike does a, a super job in, mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, in hosting that. Yep. And then the, uh, the women's basketball region tournament, um, you know, I think our team had, had a great year, mm -hmm. set a lot of records with mm -hmm. wins and, and, and really um, played well. And you know, we just ran into a tough Lander team the mm -hmm. night that we got beaten. Um, you know, those things happen. But I'm really proud of the way that uh, they played, mm -hmm. proud of the sportsmanship that they displayed. And um, I think that Coach Brandt and Coach Hilbert would tell you it was a very, very successful season for them. Yeah, and aside from that, all of, as well, we've had five other sports going on with all our spring sports. And actually, we already mentioned golf a little bit, but you know, we've had a pretty great start to the spring season. Uh, what's kind of you know been the big thing for you so far to start with spring sport? Well, you know, the spring is a is a very busy time for mm -hmm. us, and um, I try to you know get over and, and see all of our different teams play and mm -hmm. uh, you know, as you know my son plays mm -hmm. baseball so I probably spend a little more time over there than I do with the others but uh, uh, it, you know it's an exciting time for us in the spring and mm -hmm. uh, not only you know do we have our five spring sports going on but we're getting ready for the uh, third leg of the Asian mm -hmm. Triple Crown the uh, Pacers and Polo mm -hmm. event uh, which we have you know sponsored for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that's going to be a uh, you know a big event for us too. That's coming up uh, on Saturday, April second. Yeah, and talk a little bit about what that means and what the, uh, polo means to the USA and Athletic Department. Well, I think that there's a couple of uh, different pluses, mm -hmm. uh, not only for the athletic department but for USA and with polo. Uh, to, for me, the big thing is you know we're a part of the Aiken Triple Crown, mm -hmm. and I think that the community. Uh, gets to see us in a light that they ordinarily don't see us. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think being a part of that, you know, being a part of, the, of a community experience um, just does wonders for uh, not only the athletic department but for USCA. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an opportunity that we can, you know, go out, put on a first class event, get an opportunity to, to, to talk to and, and mingle with people that may not necessarily come to athletic contests. And, it's an opportunity for us to, you know, um, talk to those people and try to get them more interested in athletics and, you know, get them to be, you know, a part of our, our program next year. Mm -hmm. um, so from that aspect, I think it's very positive. The second aspect is it is a large 
um, fundraiser for us, and the largest one I think that um, that we're involved with with our Pacer Club. And mm -hmm. proceeds help to support scholarships, which is you know something we always mm -hmm. need more of. Yeah, definitely. And later on, you know, about a month from now, actually, we're going to have our athletic banquet. We're doing a little something a little different this year. We're opening it up to the public. Talk a little bit about what that banquet will entail. Well, I think um, you know as, as Every year when we wind down, we want to do something to uh, say thank you to our coaches, our student athletes, our supporters, the people that have been a part of our program all year long. Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity for us to do that. And you know, we talked this year about trying to open it up a little bit more and invite more people to come. And um, you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. Well, definitely, I know I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for your time. No problem at all. Thank you.